You guys, it's that time again. I cannot believe it. It feels like this one really came quick. I feel like we were just looking at fall fabrics not too long ago. But if you are new here, this is the infamous swatch video. This is a feature length film length <laughs> of just looking at um, fabrics. Um, all of these fabrics come from Stylemaker Fabrics. Uh, they release a new fabric collection twice a year. And in conjunction with that, they send me swatches to review with all of you. And then they also kick off like a blog tour. This year, they're doing something a little bit different where instead of um, having a whole bunch of bloggers make garments and then do blog posts, they're doing something really cool that I think you guys will really like actually, where they uh, every other day or so, each um, participant is going to be focusing on a different type of fabric and showing you tips on working with that fabric, their favorite things about it. So you really get an in-depth look into um, particular types of fabric um, in addition to like discovering some really pretty prints and all of that kind of stuff. But we have 87 fabrics to go through today. And again, this is their spring collection. So we can expect a lot of florals. I mean, just quickly scanning through a lot of florals. Um, so I'm really excited. It's always very inspiring to kind of look at new fabrics and imagine what kind of projects they can be. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm also going to be going through and pairing things up where the colors look good in person, where they kind of match or coordinate. So be sure to grab a uh, piece of paper and a pencil and you're going to want to start writing down notes so that whenever you get to their website, you kind of know what you're doing. Um, each fabric does have a SKU number on it. I'm going to do my best to remember to call out the SKU number. I'm notorious for forgetting to do that. If I forget to do that and you cannot see it on the screen for whatever reason, in the description box, I also have a link to a Google Doc that has all of the fabrics in the order that I am talking about them um with some kind of like descriptor like this one for example is polka dot floral digital print rayon crepe white so if you wanted to find that one in the google doc to find the SKU number uh, you could just look up some of those search terms okay i think that is everything that we need to go over all the beginner stuff so let's get into it putting this to the side and we're going to go through these one by one all right so like i said polka dot floral digital print rayon crepe so rayon crepe is one of those fabrics that is really, really beautiful to work with in the spring, especially for like Easter dresses and things like that, because it has the drapiness of rape of um, the drapiness of crepe or rayon, but the crepe actually gives it a little bit of texture as well, and also a little, little bit of weight to it. So unlike a rayon chalet, which is just nice and smooth and super lightweight, um, this one actually does have a little bit of body to it, which I said, like I said, makes for really beautiful, like gathered skirts and flounces and ruffles and things like that, that you might want to add to your makes in the spring. This one has like a purple polka dot, and then on top of that is like all these different kinds of spring flowers. And I don't know flower names very well, but you know, they all look very common to me. <laughs> like I know I've seen that little guy before. Um, anyway, so those are, that's the polka dot floral digital print rayon crepe in white. Here's the SKU number 17396. It is a little bit um, sheer like I can see the shadows of my hand through it but can we read through it yes we can also read through it so it's going to be one of those that you probably want to line or at the very least you know if you have like a fuller skirt just wear like a slip under or something like that okay that's number one next we have watercolor burst digital print cotton jersey in white there's also a black version of this with a black background. This is 17054. This is watercolor burst. So we have a lot of these fun neon colors, neon blue, and like the lighter blue and the darker blue, neon greens and yellows and oranges and pinks. And it is a cotton jersey, which is 
my favorite for any kind of t-shirt. This one has, as you can see, great stretch and recovery, right? It's bouncing right back to where it came from. So you know you're gonna get um, a good quality, long lasting garment um, whenever you make this one. This one obviously, because it's so busy and has such a nice print would be great for um, t-shirts, but I think you could also do something really fun with it as well. And you know, make some like baby onesies or do something with like a fun, like what was that pattern company I reviewed recently that had the t-shirt with the cutout on the shoulder? Something like that to kind of lean into the, you know, kind of psychedelic nature of this print. So fun. Okay, next we have Artistic Spring Floral Rayon Crepe in Vanilla. So the same rayon crepe that we talked about before. This one has a much more mature kind of look to it. The colors are a lot more muted. Um, and the the floral print is a uh, more abstract, right? It's not actual prints of florals, but more of like an artistic take on them. This teal color is so pretty year round. We also have this really pretty purple. There's more of like a taupe and then maybe like an orange and a and a red in there, but all very muted. Here is the drape on it again, really nice. Um, this one actually, so this one here does have that typical kind of like rough um, kind of surface to it with the crepe, but this one is nice and smooth. It feels very, very expensive. Um, nice and soft, nice and smooth, but still has that a little bit of texture and that gorgeous, gorgeous grape, gorgeous, gorgeous drape that crepe man, that's hard to say, um, is known for. Sheerness wise, you can kind of see through there. I think we're going to have some words. Yeah, we're gonna be able to see a few words through there. So you are going to want to line this like with a batiste or something like that. Or again, if you make it really flowy, you can just wear nude undergarments or a slip or something. So that one's really pretty. Ooh, I love this one. This is one seven three four two tiny sprig floral rayon jersey and blush. Right? I mean, how cute. This is like, this is like the teeniest, tiniest little print. Um, these swatches are six by six. So that gives you some perspective on the scale. And it has this beautiful like blush background. Biscuit really wants to be in the video. Um, beautiful blush background. And then it has the twigs, but the twigs are like navy. But then also some like blue green and teal twigs. And then the florals are all like little buds and they are purples and pinks. This one is really elegant, really beautiful. Now it is a rayon jersey. Um, so it is going to be a little more drapey and a little more stretchy than a cotton jersey because it does have that rayon in it. It doesn't say if this is blended with anything, but I don't think it's 100% rayon just from feeling it. It might be. I could be wrong. Um, but it does feel like it has a little bit of structure to it. Whereas a hundred percent rayon jerseys can be a little bit, uh, like on the thin side, but this one has nice drape to it. As you can see, there would be a beautiful like top with a flutter sleeve, you know, something with like a little bit of movement or a flounce or something along those lines. Really pretty. Love this one. I'm loving all the purples that we're seeing so far. Um, okay, this one is 15788 Speckle Yarn Dyed Linen Blend in Pink. So this is one of their staples. And when I say that it's a staple, that means it's something that they can reorder over and over and over again. Um, if they sell out for whatever reason, they will be getting it back. The other ones, when they sell out, they are gone, usually. Um, so this is a staple. It comes in six different colors. This one is the color pink. And it has this really cool speckle, um, kind of like woven into the linen. It's not printed on. You see how it's on the front and the back? So the, all of those dresses that we always talk about in the first impression videos where the wrong side will show, like if it's like a high-low skirt um, or like a, I don't know, a jacket where the collar follows open or something like that, this would be ideal for that because it looks just as pretty on the back as it does on the front. And of course we've got the, you know, linen, um, quintessential spring, even summer fabric. And this one is 
yarn dyed linen blend. So there is a blend to it, uh, maybe some cotton or some rayon blended into it as well. But you can see the drape there, um, not a ton, but it is a little bit loosely woven like linen tends to be. So it's gonna be breathable, it's gonna be comfortable. Obviously all of your button down shirts, shirt dresses, things of that nature um, would be great for this linen. A linen pant might even be nice, although it might be a little bit see-through for a bottom but still really, really beautiful. Of course, I love the pink color. The speckles are like monochromatic with a little pop of neon. So, so, so fun. All right, and if you're wondering, these are a little bit not right together. The pinks are similar, the backgrounds, but something about it is like not meshing. Okay, and now we have Brush stroke floral rayon chalet in white and pink, 17180. Now this is colorful. I mean, this one was colorful. This is like this on steroids. It's got a bigger print, um, a lot bigger patches of the bright, bright, bright colors, but still we have that like purpley blue, like indigo, and then all your pinks and oranges. A lot of color here. This one is 100% rayon chalet, so it is gonna be lightweight. It is gonna be drapey. It is gonna be one of those fabrics that if you're looking for drape and flow and all of that, this is gonna be it. This does not have a lot of structure to it at all, but the softest, I mean the softest, there's nothing softer than rayon chalet. And just a really fun, bright print for spring. Okay, now we have Tencel Twill Bottom Weight in Rose. So, another staple. This one comes in 11 colors. This, again, is the color Rose. 14153 is the number. And they are calling this a bottom weight. So, that means it's ideal for shorts and pants and skirts and things like that. Tencel is the name brand of Rayon. So, it is Rayon woven into a twill uh, weave and twill is like a diagonal weave the same weave that denim is made from so you know you're going to get something with a ton of durability um twill weaves are known for being very long lasting and in areas of the body that get a lot of wear and tear like crotch curves and inner thighs and things like that um twill is going to hold up to that really nicely so this is twill made from rayon or tinsel and so it does have a little bit of drape to it so this bottom weight is not going to give you like a structured bottom it's going to be something for like paper bag waists or something for like really beautiful circle skirt or like a big wide leg pant or something like that that you know the drape and you want it to kind of fall a little bit close to the body that's what tinsel twill is going to be great for so again this comes in 11 different colors um, certainly you can find one that looks great with whatever your outfit is. So this one is not a match match for this little pink in here, but it does coordinate very well. If you wanted to just really lean into the pastels, you could do that with these two fabrics here. And again, this was 17501. This one here, again, pinky pink. <laughs> again, you can lean into it and just go full on pastel. And that would be really beautiful as well. So fun. Okay, now this one is interesting. Variegated mini stripe linen blend shirting. I love a variegated stripe. Variegated stripes are when they're, the stripes are not evenly spaced and they're all different widths. Um, and that's what this is here. This is giving me very much like a Southwestern, like springtime in Arizona. <laughs> um, but it's this really cool woven shirting uh, linen blend. So again, same as this, you know, same kind of vibe as this with your shirt dresses, your button downs, even like a button front skirt, this would be really cool. Um, this one is a little less sheer, maybe because the colorway is a little bit darker, but I think you could get away with maybe like a looser fitting short or pant with this one even. Um, maybe this one with some of the darker colors you could do that with as well. Um, but I love like the aqua and the pink and there's even like lilac in here, raspberry, a lot of really beautiful colors. This one is fun, a real standout for sure. Even though it's just stripes, I don't know. It looks very ready to wear friendly. It looks like something we would um, see in a store like already made up and like 
love it or at least I would love it um I think a shirt dress in this would be outstanding outstanding okay we have our first plaid this is reversible plaid check double gauze in pink um skew number one six four six three and I'm going to do the big reveal because this is always so fun when, so double gauze is two layers of gauze that are stitched together. When it's reversible, they take one print on top and another print on bottom and they stitch those together. So you have plaid, but you also have stripes. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So um, again, wrong side shows would be great here. You could get one cut of fabric, use this for like under collars and cuffs and button um, bands and things like that and have coordinating fabrics all built into one. Just use one side as the right side for one thing and the other side is the right side for another. This one has like all those really pretty raspberry type of tones to it. We have like the creams, even a little bit of blue. So that's also something that I think is a little bit interesting this season is that I guess it overall reads pink, but they're also throwing in lots of different blues and greens and things of that nature as well. I mean, even this one, you know, pinks and blues and greens all together, um, which is a lot of fun. So the wrong side looks like this or the right side. I don't know, however you want to look at it. And it's got like the kind of mid-tone pink and then the cream. So that's what those are. Right? Isn't that one cool? And then this is more black to me. This is looking black, um, not navy or I don't know, whatever color, whatever other color it might look like. Forest green? No, I think it's like a black for sure. So that one's fun something different, right? You can make something really cute with that using the contrasts. This is layered floral rayon crepe fuchsia 17506. Let me read that again. Layered floral. So florals layered on top of each other, kind of like a uh, decoupage or something. Um, rayon crepe and the fuchsia colorway. Uh, okay, so rayon crepe. So again, we're dealing with rayon, but with that little bit of texture, this one is like, I don't know, is it more like this? It's like the Goldilocks version, honestly, between these two in terms of texture. Not quite as textured as this one, um, but more textured than this one is. And obviously this one has all those really pretty greens, the fuchsia, pink, all of that. Even this like little burnt cranberry color in the back is also really pretty and unexpected. So I really love that. If we were trying to pair it with our twill, I think it's a little too bright. Even though those colors are similar, yeah, it's just reading a little bit. That, it's not terrible, but it's not my favorite. Not my favorite. I actually really prefer these together. Yeah, more muted tones together. Um, but yeah, rayon crepe, drapey, texture, lightweight, perfect for dresses, flounces, flowy tops, you know, all of those kinds of things. All right, now we've got a large gingham stretch cotton shirting in pink. This also comes in orange, which I think orange is like the most underestimated color. Um, I think we're seeing it a lot more in fashion and I love seeing it. These checks are mm, three quarters of an inch. Yeah, three quarters of an inch check, three quarter inch checks. Um, your standard gingham, this is a cotton shirting, but it does have a little bit of stretch to it. How cool is that, right? So not a lot of stretch this way, but along the, or cross grain, a decent, a decent amount of stretch. So it, think about it in the way that you would think about, I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head. It just fell out of my head. But those types of fabrics that you would use to make fit and flare dresses where you need it to have a little bit of stretch going around your body, um, but still the structure that you want for like the skirt, um, that's what this one will be. The name of that other fabric, uh, sateen, gosh. Um, think of it as like a cotton sateen without the sheen, without the shininess to it. It's just, you know, cotton, so it's very matte, um, but it does have that like little bit of stretch to it. So um, it is a little bit on the lighter weight side, so I don't, wouldn't necessarily recommend it for like bottoms, um, shorts and things like that. I don't, I don't know how this would perform because it is a little bit thinner. Um, a little bit lighter weight. 
Um, you can see kind of the drape that it has there. Think about a beautiful like fit and player dress with a circle skirt, maybe even with like an asymmetrical like handkerchief hem. So, so, so cute. So pretty, so expensive. Think like Draper James, you know, the brand that Reese Witherspoon has. Go look at some of their collection. You'll see a lot of this kind of fabric, um, these prints um, in their collection. It'll give you some inspiration as to how to use a large scale print like this. So pretty. Okay, this one is Flower Field Cotton Poplin in red and pink. It comes in two different colorways, but she didn't say which one. So this is the red and pink version. Um, and it is Cotton Poplin. So Cotton Poplin is like a little bit lighter weight um, than a shirting, but it's often used in the similar ways as a shirting would be. So you've got like a little bit of drape to it, not a ton, right? Not a ton at all, but it is there. It is there. And it's lightweight, breathable because it's, you know, cotton. Um, 17187 on this one, you can see what the wrong side looks like. It's just printed on, right? The, the white cotton background. And then all of these fun, really um, poppy like flowers. Again, raspberry, pink. We've got the marigold and the yellow. And if you wanna do something really cool, put these together, right? Can you imagine like a button down shirt with this as the cuff and the collar and the, and the button band and all of that? That would be so, so, so fun. Or think of other unique ways where you can combine prints. Print mixing is still very, very much a thing. You know, even if those color block options, you know, where you have the, the pattern is like cut up into diagonals and things, you can combine these together and have a really fun little outfit that literally no one else will have <laughs> because it's so unique. But these look really, really good together. This hot pink is basically the same as the one in here. So fun. Okay. Cotton poplin, flower field, perfect. This one is pinstripe chambray shirting in pink. It comes in three different colorways. So we have the pinstripe, as you can see there, chambray, which you guys know as like lightweight denim. And this is pink. Oh, shirting also, and it's a shirting. So we can see here, pretty stiff, right? Pretty, like not a ton of drape. Um, this one is actually pretty loosely woven similar to some of the linens that we looked at earlier um but does have this really really cool like pinstripe effect if we wanted to put these together um if you're not so much into the check i mean you could also do all three if you really wanted to go all in these are not the same well is that the same it is very close very close so those all living together aren't Something about it's not right. I do like this together and I do like this together, but all three of them is making me go something, something's off. And maybe it's just because, like, is that better? Hmm, I can't tell. So you're gonna have to use your creativity to determine if this is right for you or not. I don't hate it, I don't hate it. And I think if you use the right amount of each one, you could have something really cool, but definitely the two or the two works really well. All right, so this chambray, love this. This is like such a great pan feel. It's nice and soft. Again, with the drape, not a ton, but all those things that are that chambray are great for, like shirt dresses, woven tops, skirts. I mean, you can use chambray for so many different patterns that you have in your stash. And you know, I love pink, so. <laughs> Okay, next we have brush stroke floral stretch sateen in black. So black background and then your oranges and your fuchsias and even like some of this peach type of color here. This is stretch sateen. So this is what I was trying to compare this stretch cotton shirting to. But sateen is gonna have that same stretch. It's gonna be a little bit like thicker, like actually thicker, heavier weight less drape, and it's gonna have a little bit of a sheen to it. It's hard to see on this one, um, but it is there. Subtle, subtle, subtle sheen. This is not gonna be those one that is really, really shiny. In fact, you might even, art, well, yeah, it's subtle. It's there, but it's subtle. One, six, four, five, seven on this. Again, with the grays and the whites, lots of really fun colors. Gorgeous, stunning, like, dress to wear to a wedding or any, like, springtime evening event. 
this black background with these pops of flowers, you're going to look like a million bucks. Imagine like midi length, you know, T length, um, fit and flare with like, um, some kind of like structured, like cap sleeve, you know, maybe even make your own belt, you know, that kind of vibe is what you're going to be going for with this. Not lightweight, not drapey, not flowy, but a structured, good, solid dress. Add the big um, pleats to it. You know what I mean? Cut a full circle skirt and you can really like accentuate the um, lack of drape in this fabric. I love cotton sateen. I really do love stretch sateen so much for those nice dresses. You just feel, I don't know, you put it on and you just feel rich. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. They always fit so good um, and look, you know, really good. So love this. Uh, one, six, four, five, seven. Now we have, this one's going to be a big hit. I can tell already. Sorry, it's sticking. Um, fresh lemonade, cotton lawn in pink. So we've gone through a couple different cottons, right? We've got cotton shirting and we have cotton poplin and this is cotton lawn. So if I had to rate them, it would be shirting, then poplin, then lawn in terms of weight, all 100% cotton all made from the same material, but this one's just gonna be a little bit lighter weight. It is the most fun little print with these like olive green and yellow lemons and limes and then like almost as if they were stamped. Um, the background is, it's pink. It is like not, it's kind of muted, but it is not quite bubble gum, but it's, it's teetering around that area. Um, but the lemons, I mean, people will definitely see you in this shirt, whether you make a tank top or a button down or whatever it is. And definitely you'll be getting some attention. Wear it to a cookout. How cute would that be? You know, being from the South, I don't know, lemonade and all of that. I think um, people would really be very curious about where you got your outfit or your top or your dress that you made out of this. But it is lighter weight, like literally lightweight, um, not a ton of drape. Um, a little bit on the sheer side, right? So keep all those things in mind when you are picking out your pattern. Um, one, seven, two, seven, nine on this. The background is white, but you can still see a little bit of the lemons through because this is just like printed on. But yeah, really, really cute and fun and sweet, right? I think that this would make adorable kids clothes and pet clothes too. Why not? All right, Wildflower Silhouette Rayon Crepe in Coral. Rayon Crepe. This is like the fifth, I think, Rayon Crepe we've seen. Um, obviously, very, very popular this season with the like floaty, flowy, frilly, girly dresses that we've been seeing um, have been a trend for a couple years now. All the tears and the ruffles and everything that's happening. That's what this rayon crepe is perfect for. So I feel like I've explained fully what rayon crepe is. So this one is the wildflower silhouette. So you've got the negative of the print um, in wildflowers. And this is a coral background. So almost like a pinky orange. Um, with the white, um, like, flowers on there. So subtle, but still got a lot of movement in the print here. It is really, really pretty. Um, on certain skin tones, I mean, come on. Really, really pretty. I love coral. 17471 on this one. Very, very lightweight. Not a ton of texture, but it's definitely there. Definitely there. This one's probably the lightest weight of all of them. But yeah, perfect for anything with tons and tons of ruffles, flounces, all of those things. All right, colorful tartan plaid, cotton shirting, and melon. Who does not love a tartan plaid, right? It is just so quintessentially preppy. And then you mix it with these like bright, fun colors. And all of a sudden you have like, you know, a juxtaposition of preppy and also very bright and vibrant. Um, this one has like neon orange and pink. Um, it has a navy blue kind of like as an anchor um, and also white kind of in between the navies. Wrong side looks like this. So it is good. Wrong, both sides look great. Um, 17079 on this. And this is a cotton shirting. So we've been through shirting. It's a little bit like stiffer, a little more structured, a little bit more weight to it. It's not going to be see-through, right? 
And similarly to how we were looking at the stripe and the gingham and the floral before, look how good these look together. So fun, right? Like make this top and put this as your accents or vice versa. But these colors with the blue and the coral and the, you know, they are the same. They are pretty much the same. Very, very bright, very vibrant, vibrant. These look really good together. This one's called Fanning Flowers Organic Cotton Double Gauze in Coral. It does come in a different colorway. She doesn't say which one, but... um this is the coral and it is a double gauze so we talked about how double gauze is like two layers of gauze stitched together the first one we looked at had the reversible with the um, stripe on the other side this one just has white gauze on the other side one seven one four two so it would be combining a shirting and a gauze together but i think that that's totally fine um because they both are similar weights as you can see here similar drape um and obviously similar colors as well so fun. All right, next up we are looking at narrow rib sweater knit in melon. This is number 17458. 17458. And yeah, super cool. Okay, so a rib knit, but it's sweater knit, you know? Um, so ribbed sweater knit. Does that make sense? Um, so it's actually got like can you see how like the light is picking up on certain areas of it? So it's got like almost like a texture. Well, there is a texture because it's ribbed in it, obviously, but almost like a sparkly type of texture to it as well. That's also like sporadically all throughout. So it's not just like one color. When you look at it, you have like the deeper color and then also like the shinier lighter color mixed in i hope that's making sense um but this comes in four different colors we all know we love rib knit for you know close fitting tank tops and dresses and skirts and you know everything that sweater that rib knits are known for but this one is also made from sweater knit so it's going to be like a little bit cozier you could definitely use it to make you know turtlenecks and things with sleeves i mean this is not necessarily a warm spring fabric temperature wise um but it is really cozy and super soft the hand feel is really nice it's got a decent amount of drape to it even so if you wanted to do a fun sleeve with like i don't know like a fun cuff or something like that you could definitely do that with this but the best part about rib knits is that they have so much stretch and then awesome awesome recovery that's the best part um so you can really utilize that to highlight curves of your body and things of that nature rib knits are great this is the colorway melon okay next we have tartan plaid cotton shirting and tangerine i mean it doesn't get much more orange than that right i mean it's basically orange red and white um, maybe if you were a Tennessee fan, <laughs> you need to be grabbing this up to make for the next football season even. Um, but if you wanted to put it with like a little knit skirt and just like be a construction cone, by all means. <laughs> um, but this one is uh, 17077. The colorway of this is tangerine and there's another color that we're going to be seeing um, hopefully as well. Uh, this one is cotton shirting. So again, we've talked about cotton shirting at length here. You get an idea of the drape of it, sort of like, I don't want to say heavyweight. It's definitely not a heavyweight fabric, but of the 100% cotton ones that we've looked at for a spring collection, it's definitely heavier than, you know, the poplin and the, um, the lawn were. Um, just tight, more tightly woven, I guess. Um, but the color of this is really the standout, the vibrant, vibrant color. I mean, that is just so much fun. This one actually would be great for bottoms. If you wanted to make some shorts out of this, I think you could get away with making a pair of lightweight, loose fitting shorts. Um, gosh, you would just, I mean, everyone would know that you arrived. <laughs> okay. Now we have abstract watercolor floral digital print linen shirting in rust this comes in a different another colorway other than this one but this colorway has these beautiful creams and taupes and kind of like muted uh muted natural tones so the olive green 
even like the yellow is like muted and but still from nature you know and the reds and oranges nothing's too vibrant nothing too much is standing out like it all just kind of like blades together which i guess you know lends itself to the watercolor aspect of this as well it is a digital print so it's only on one side linen made from linen and it's a shirting so you're going to get that great crisp collar button band all of that kind of stuff from this you can even see just me like finger pressing it how it's staying um and 17173 17173 on this one really fun we definitely didn't get a swatch that has a lot of these orange colors in it but they are definitely definitely there maybe when we get it down into the greens and yellows i'm going to put this one over here in case we find some to match that okay this is the slob texture linen blend in terracotta i personally have used this fabric many many times it is a staple from them it comes in 24 different colors literally any color you can imagine um it is a dream to work with i cannot speak more highly about this fabric um in fact i will put up here in the top right hand corner um, one of the garments that I made using this um, slub texture linen blend. It is just so nice to work with. So soft, the hand feel. It's got a wonderful drape to it. Um, it would make one of those dresses that is like, it's lightweight and drapey, but not flouncy. Um, it's going to have a little bit more structure than like the rayon crepes and things like that. It's going to hold up a little bit better. So you can make, you know, flowy dresses that also have a little bit of structure to them. So if you're wanting to do a button band, if you're wanting to do some kind of feature where the other stuff would just like basically disintegrate in your hands if you tried to make it structured this holds up to more of that kind of design than the super super lightweight stuff but still has beautiful drape beautiful weight to it it almost weighs more than it looks like it would um which i think just enhances how it feels on your body when you're wearing it um, so this is the terracotta color like i said 24 different colors so if you like the idea of this fabric and you want to match it with anything reach out to style maker fabric say hey i love you know 17173 i love the green in it do you have one of the um slub texture linens that match the green or the yellow or whatever it is and they can help put something together for you they're really great about customer service in that way um so yeah this fabric is great 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 14590 is the item number for this one. Next, we have abstract brush stroke floral. No, we have burst <laughs> tie dye print brushed sweater knit in terracotta. 17457. Look how, I mean, I like the back too. Am I wrong to like the wrong side? This is brushed sweater knit. So it's a sweater that's been knit by a machine, but it's got this almost like felted brushed quality to it. This is so soft, like so soft. Um, and this burst tie dye, you know what tie dye looks like. Um, it's got the same terracotta color as this guy. Those look great together, but it's also got like deep purples, eggplants, and even some green in here. Um, this cream base is really nice, kind of balance out all of those colors. Um, yeah, this is just unexpectedly really, really nice. And like I said, I kind of really like the wrong side too. Can you imagine having that brushed next to your body? I mean, this does look like a little bit machine, like it almost looks like the wrong side of French Terry. <laughs> so maybe you wouldn't want to do that, but man, it is nice. Very, very, very soft. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for like something cozy, something that just feels really good, um, this is it. The weight of this is really nice, but look, it still has all that nice drape to it. So it would actually be kind of good for like, what was that sew together? The Jolly Emily. I think it would be good for that. Something oversized because look, the drape is going to make it like fit close to your body, 
but you could still do like a turtleneck or something because it has so much stretch to it and then bounces right back. So the recovery is really nice and even some stretch this way, not a ton, but I mean like a hundred percent, I think, or close to it, uh, with the green. So really, really nice. Oh, I could just pet this for days. Okay, now we have Abstract Brush Stroke Floral Rayon Crepe. I mean, this is like Easter basket in, this is like you walk into the candy aisle at CVS and this is the color, the, these are the colors that you experience. This is Easter in a fabric for sure. Um, this is the vanilla background, but it has all these like baby pinks even these like, I don't know, goldish yellows and then this nice green. And also look at the baby blues back there, periwinkle, lots of fun colors. It is rayon crepe. So we've talked about that before, more of like the softer um, hand feel rayon crepe, not the, not the super textured one. Um, really lightweight, there's the wrong side. And I mean, if somebody doesn't show up at Easter with this on, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Um, this is like, somebody needs to wear this for Easter for sure. So fun. I'm gonna keep this to the side to see if, maybe if we made some like flowy top with it, if we could like anchor it a little. I mean, of course it'd make a great dress too. Please make a dress from it. But if you wanted to kind of like anchor it and balance it out a little bit with a solid, I will um, keep this to the side when we get to like the blues and greens. I think that it'll, they'll find something that um, would balance that out really nice. Oh, and that was 17163. Now we have 17276 watercolor rose garden lawn in peach. So this is very muted. In fact, if you weren't like, yeah, I mean, you could barely tell those are roses. I think on the larger fabric, maybe it'll stand out more, but. Um, you have like the yellowy, orangey roses, pink background, and then all this like green kind of mixed in as well. It reminds me a lot of the colorway of this, although those are not, those do not go together. This one is more vibrant than this. This is still very, very muted, but it is that cotton lawn. Um, it comes in a different colorway. This one is peach, like I said, cotton lawn. So like the middle of the, of the 100% cotton fabrics we've looked at great for shirts and tops and dresses and all of those things that you want to have like a crispness to them. Um, these, the cotton lawn and the cotton shirting are perfect for that. It's pretty. It's very pretty. I could see it in a button down in a heartbeat. And then with your button down, you could do the contrast in this uh, colorful gingham cotton shirting in canary. This comes in five other colors. Um, it also looks really good with this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one out as well. This is like giving me Liberty vibes if I've ever seen it. This one's called Spring Floral Cotton Poplin in Yellow and Blue. Um, real quick, the, the numbers 17276, 17084, and 17193 are the numbers on here. All of these look really good. Like these look good together. And these look even better together, in my opinion. Um, I think that this would be a standout shirt dress with this as the button band, collar, cuffs, all of that kind of stuff. I know I keep using that as a reference over and over again, but it is just such like a quintessential spring piece to have a um, button down dress or a shirt dress. Um, even if you did one that didn't have the collars, but something with a button band, um, would be really, really fun out of this. I can imagine like a nice like pleated skirt even, and then you made your own belt out of the yellow gingham. That would be a really fun idea as well. These are, so this is cotton lawn. The rose is cotton lawn. The gingham is cotton shirting. And then this is cotton poplin. So we do have a few different um, types of cotton there, but you know, they all kind of work similarly to each other. There's very little difference between the three. Um, so they would all perform the same or similarly when you went to sew them together. But so fun. Love this. For reference, these two, this is just a little too muted on the yellow side. 
Um, but I, that said, I do still think that it would make a really pretty top and then some kind of like cool big skirt. I don't know, this tucked into that. I think that could be really cool if you really wanted to lean into the print mixing. Um, and then even this here, I mean, that doesn't look terrible either. Linen top and some kind of like short. It's a little on the thin side for shorts, but if you made something like loose fitting, like a big cuff on the bottom, and then this linen on top, I don't know, you could make it work. The colors, all of these yellows and all of this look, they all look really good together. This one, oh yeah, I mean, hello. Spring has sprung, right? Between the whites and the yellows. I mean, they're not exact, exact. They just kind of coordinate. So again, yeah, this basically this gingham here with all of these, pick your poison. Um, it looks good with every single one of them. So whichever one speaks to you, there we go. I'm going to flip all these over so you can get the numbers again, since I know some of them were for, from a few spots back. But here are the numbers. Here are the numbers and the number of the pink one. Let me make sure all those are on screen. Yes. All right. So there you go. Pause the video and get all those. All of them are great. Lo this yellow is so fun. So fun. It obviously goes with so many things. You might already have something in your stash that it goes with too. Okay. So this is brush stroke floral digital print linen shirting in rust and denim 16841. Um, it is digital print linen shirting. I think it's the same as this. This would be the other colorway. Brush stroke. What was this one? Hold on. Um, abstract watercolor. Okay, so this is abstract watercolor floral digital print, and this is brush stroke floral digital print. So they're not the same, but very similar. Um, this one is beautiful, again, with all of these like rusty colors in it, right? Those look really, really pretty together. You're in more of like an earth tone kind of spring rather than bright, bright, bright. Um, that's what you would get with that. So really fun. The corals are a little bit bright. Yeah, like that doesn't work well together, but this does. This looks really good. Really, really good. Um, this one is 16841. And this was 14590. So linen, uh, linen shirting on this, right? So we've got the crisp, crisp shirting, but linen instead of cotton. Like we've been looking at with the cotton shirtings, this is the linen version of all of that. So nice, so pretty. Very, very soft, smooth hand feel. Really smooth. And this rust and denim colorway means that you can put this with your jeans and it's going to look great. You know, this blue, love that blue color. All right, now we have abstract watercolor linen blend in apricot. This, oops, hold on. This comes in four different colorways abstract watercolor linen blend in apricot. What do we think about apricot? I feel like we don't get to talk about the color apricot a lot or apricot. I don't know how you say it, but it is this really nice like marigold somewhere in between yellow and orange, somewhere between like rust and orange. Um, it's really, really beautiful. And I love it combined with this fuchsia, right? And you would not expect that. That and then the white and this abstract kind of vibe. This would make a really cool, like, uh, like a shirt dress with a collar. But instead of it being like fitted at the waist or even at the hip, something that just goes big A-line, you know, it, would, it feels very artsy to me. Something like a smock, you know, something along those lines would be really nice. And it is a linen blend, 17041, but it feels like a canvas. It's giving me like canvas vibes. So it must have a lot of cotton in it maybe. Um, yeah, not a lot of drape. The weight is pretty decent. Like you could even make a bag out of this, I think. Um, yeah, it feels very canvassy. So this one, I mean, I think that that is pretty cool. And I think that in terms of prints, like if you're not a floral person, which I get, there's some days I wake up and the floral is just too cheerful for me. Um, this, this feels fun 
and feels like it's leaning into some of the fun colors of spring without it being like spring thrown into your face. And at the same time, I think you could wear this into the fall as well. This color would lend itself really well to, oh geez, I just literally threw it across the room. It would lend itself to some of those pretty fall colors as well. Um, like, I mean, maybe not that, but you could, <laughs> but you could definitely pair it with your fall, um, accessories and things like that. And I think it would still, like, I don't think the pink is too much, um, for either season. So it's a three season garment, depending on, you know, if you have sleeves or whatnot. I love that. Uh, this is cotton modal jersey knit. So we're going to break it down. Cotton, right? Everybody knows what cotton is. Modal is another type of rayon. So cotton and rayon blended together in a jersey knit. And they're calling this color apricot again. So cotton modal is going to be different than cotton jersey. It's going to have a lot more drape to it. It's going to be a little bit lighter weight. But the saturation of color in their jerseys is unparalleled. It is so stunning. 15986 is the number on this one. It comes in 19 colors. So again, any of the other fabrics we've talked about, if you want a t-shirt to go with that, if you want to make a bodysuit to go with like your new apricot skirt, just reach out to them and say, I want the cotton modal jersey knit. I want it to match whatever color and they will help you find one that looks really good with it. I've done that with them a thousand times and it always turns out great. This is it with that linen shirting. Super pretty. Um, what else? We've also got, remember this guy, super, super springy. If you wanted to make that into like a skirt or like a culotte type of thing, lined, obviously, you could do this t-shirt with that. Um, what else did we have that had like oranges in it? Most of these are pink. Pink, 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 pink. We have this one. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, who would have thought you could buy an apricot or make an apricot t-shirt and have so many fabrics of so many different kinds um, go with it from florals to this abstract print. Um, lots and lots of really fun stuff there. We also have this guy sitting here, tossed floral stems, round crepe and apricot. Now, these are not the same. This one is definitely brighter, um, a little bit more on the yellow side than this one is. So although they coordinate, they're in the same family, um, they're not matchy matchy. Whereas this, the other ones that I showed you are a perfect match. But this in and of itself is super pretty. I love the tossed, what do they call it? Tossed floral stems, right? That is, that is exactly what it looks like. They've just been strewn about and landed on um, this apricot background, black stems, white flowers with like, I don't know, like reddish orange, like middles. That's the wrong side. 17449 um, rayon crepe. So again, a lot of rayon crepes. But this one is really fun. What do we think about this colorway on brown skin? I would be a little bit nervous. It can be a lot. But um, really, really fun print that is floral but still approachable and not like Easter. <laughs> like it just threw up on it. Okay, that's that. Now... We have abstract artistic floral stretch sateen in olive. It does come in an alternate colorway. This one is the stretch sateen that I told you about that I really, really love. Where's the other stretch sateen? Let me see. Oh, was it the black one? Yeah, it was the black one. So you have these two stretch sateens. This one obviously is leaning into more of the like um, nude and natural kind of colors or tones, but still has this really fun citron. And I can almost guarantee that they have this in a citron. They probably have this in a citron, maybe even the linen. Citron was a big, big color. And so I think that they would probably have either of those, either of these in um, that colorway. But for what it's worth, this terracotta color looks pretty good next to that brown. I mean, they're all kind of leaning into the browns, you know, but if you really wanted to call it a citron, you could do that. Stretch Sateen 17099. 
and then tonal check plaid cotton shirting in citron so if you wanted to combine them somehow make some pencil pants out of cotton or stretch sateen pencil pants pencil skirts all of that are great out of stretch sateen because it does have that stretch to kind of wrap around your body a little bit where you make it fitted but you still have a little bit of wiggle room and a little bit of ease in there due to the fabric in addition to whatever the designer has put in for wearing ease but if you want to take a little top out of this guy tonal check plaid cotton shirting um this is the colorway citron there is a different colorway um, all the whites and then like these just really bright 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 yellows um, you could do that guy remember him from the very beginning um, we already went over that one I feel like we've seen a few little pops of like neon yellow and citron in here where's the lemons yep linens would be super fun um, this guy I mean not terrible right we'll put him in here and then is that it Here's this guy. Again, I think that the pinks and the yellows of all of this is really, really, really pretty. Really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna flip all these over in case, you know, you didn't like it at first and now you do. Um, I know that that happens. So instead of having to go back. All right, here we go. All of our item numbers again. Pause the video. Write down the numbers. If you want to grab the Citron and pair it with any of these. Okay, now we have... Brussels washer linen blend in pair. Um, this one is one of their staples, comes in 15 colors, okay? So it is like the lime green of it all, right? It is citron, but more on the green side. Um, you've probably heard of Brussels washer linen blend before. It's very common. I um, Last year I made, I did a sew along for a shirt dress and used like a teal colorway of this. I will again link that in the top right corner here. Um, a dream to work with, super, super soft to the hand, um, super smooth, lighter weight, relatively speaking, decent amount of drape, but it is going to allow you to do things like collars and button bands and elastic waists and things like that. Um, where it'll hold up to it and have the structure that you need in order to execute those kinds of design details. Um, so, I mean, I know the lime green is a choice, but those look kind of fun together. And they're both linen, right? Um, was that it so far? I think we're going to get into a lot more greens. We're just at like the top, top end of our green right now but um we've got that we've got this remember that um yeah a few fun options there if you wanted to just really i mean color is people are not shying away from color i think after this pandemic everyone's like i want to be seen they want to enter the world and make a statement and a lot of people are doing that with big bold colors which is what all of this would be so got your screenshot of that or got your notes. This one is Brushstroke Garden Floral Rayon Chalet in white and emerald. And they're calling out this green color here, this beautiful emerald color, but obviously there's also like, you know, really pretty, um, is it called safflower? What's the blue? Mayflower? Safflower? That's not a word. Um, that blue color that has the word flower in it. Skipping my mind, but we also have the yellows and the reds and the oranges, lots and lots of colorways, different colors in here. But that emerald green is a real, real, real standout. So pretty. This one is Round Shally. So it's the the lighter weight, smoother sister of rayon crepe um it's gonna have a smooth, smooth, smooth hand feel. It is going to be super lightweight and super drapey right? It is one of those that's going to be really shifty when you go to cut it and when you go to sew it. Um, it's just the nature of the fabric, but it does produce the most beautiful ruffles and flounces and flowy, flowy this and that's that you will ever, ever sew. Um, one, two, I'm sorry, one, seven, two, one, one on that guy. I like this colorway too. I mean, obviously we've gone into like the brights and we've gone into like the pinks and the, you know, very, very eastery colors. This feels more grounded having that emerald in there. It also feels multi-seasonal. 
It doesn't feel like overtly spring, you know? It could be summer, maybe even early fall with that emerald in there. Now we have multi-stripe linen blend shirting vanilla multi. I love this. Multi-stripe, right? Can you see how they're like variegated? They're not all the same. Granted, it's really just one of them is different, but that's enough for me, visual interest. Um, linen blend shirting. So we've talked about linen blend shirtings already. We've got the shirting, which makes for like a really crisp type of, you know, execution, whether you're doing, you know, even just a regular hem or collars or whatever it is. It's got the linen in it. So it's going to be nice and breathable, kind of like looser, loosely woven-ish, a little bit on the see-through side, but it's got these fun colors. So vanilla background, but then this like muted, that same like sap, what is the name of that color? Oh, that's going to bother me. Mm, um, that blue color. Then we've got like this, oh, almost like a muted emerald, I guess, into this other blue color and then a lightweight, a light, lighter blue, but bright yellow, olive green, kind of like a denim. So there's a ton of colors in here, all in that like cool tone family, but then they throw in the yellow for something a little bit fun. I love that. So fun. 17473. Really, really imagine this in like some kind of resort wear. So a caftan, you know, some a pool cover up or uh, something you would wear to like a beach bar or you know, something like that. Daytime for sure, elastic even like a simple elastic waist tank top dress type thing. Really, really pretty. The colors are just like so nice. Now we have Fresh Lemonade Digital Print Jersey in Mint. I mean, if the pink and um, yellow lemons were not enough for you, maybe you would rather have mint lemons. <laughs> so this is a jersey though. So this is stretchy. This is a t-shirt, right? Um, and it doesn't say what this is made from, whether it's cotton or rayon or a blend or anything. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, it does feel like maybe it has some rayon in it. It's a very lightweight um, cotton. Um, not a ton of drape to it, but here's the stretch, right? Stretch and recovery. And digitally printed. So this part is white. Yeah, I've got to find some patterns other than t-shirts where I would like to use jersey knit. I mean, obviously they have those like really cool, like kind of semi-fitted t-shirt dresses, um, but that's basically just a t-shirt. There's got to be some other ways to use jersey as well, other than just your typical t-shirt and variations of that, because this one is really pretty and fun. All right, now we have thick rib sweater knit in mint so we went over the thin sweater rib knit which is this right and this comes in a bunch of colors too and then we have this one that comes in three different colors including this mint color but you can see how different size the ribs are right this is a thinner rib and this is a thicker rib the only difference is one is going to be more stretchy than the other one right I think the smaller rib is stretchier um, and this is less stretchy, less see-through when you pull it open and also a little bit thicker because it does have, you know, so many, so much more of the ribbing. Does that make sense? Um, but this is the mint color, really pretty. Again, three colors, one, six, seven, four, one. I mean, super pretty. Make a big chunky sweater with this and then pair it, you know, half tucked into like a button front skirt or even like oversized, short, not oversized, but like loose fitting shorts. Think about like whenever it gets to be a little bit cooler at night or in the early morning, that's when, that's the kind of vibe where you would be wearing a sweater knit, a thick sweater knit like this. It's when the temperatures are like, you know, hotter during the day, but then they drop off as the sun starts to go down. Um, that's when you would use something like this. And I'm trying to see, I know we've come across 
a fair amount with this mint color. I mean, obviously there's this, that's just a lot though. Um, this had a lot of blues and greens. So that's fun. Um, anything else? I don't see any other, oh wait, 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 hold the phone. There's this. Um, this, it starts to become a little bit hard for me because I have like swatches, like, <laughs> like just strewn about everywhere. But I think this might be our best bet for the, for the mint. Okay, I'm gonna flip these over, pause the video, write down the numbers, okay? But yeah, a fun sweater out of this would be, oversized would be so nice. Okay, look how cool this is. Vine, floral, embroidered, eyelet, rayon, crepe, and mint. Ooh, a lot going on here. So let's dissect this. We have vine, floral, embroidered, eyelet. We're gonna stop there. So we've got the eyelet, right? It's actually like see-through with the eyelets, the holes in it, embroidered, right? So they embroidered it with the eyelet um, in this like vine shape with also flower buds on it. And they did all of that work on top of a rayon crepe, okay? So take the rayon crepe, right? The lightweight, the drapey, but the little bit of texture and then embroider on top of that. So what you're gonna get when you do that is a rayon crepe that actually has more weight to it because all of this threading, all of this stitching from the embroidery makes it heavier. Um, if this were like all over, the vines were all over, um, it would also make it more structured. But because it's a little bit sporadic, um, you're still gonna get a little bit of that drape, but you can see how the unembroidered side wants to be like super drapey, and then the embroidered side wants to kind of just not be drapey at all. So you're gonna get a combination, right? So I don't know that this would be perfect for anything with like smaller ruffles. Um, I don't know, it would probably gather okay, depending on how you cut it and make sure you don't cut the raw edge around any of this. Um, but in general, it would, I think, make, I think you'd be better off making something with fewer seams with this just to let that embroidery kind of sing and like do its thing. You know what I mean? Um, but it is really neat how they combined two techniques in one fabric, you know, the rayon crepe and the embroidered eyelet all in one. Normally you see embroidered eyelet on cotton, but this one, they put it on the, on the printed um, rayon crepe. 17502, obviously the mint and the mint, or that's a statement, but you do each his own, do each his own. If you wanted to do floral and stripes, those are always fun. Um, yeah, I, if it didn't have so much red and orange, that would work really well together. So this might be kind of like a standalone and that's okay too. Here's our apricot with the apricot of that, that kind of like you know, balances um, it out a little bit. We even have the, what was this, coral maybe? So if you wanted to do a play on the cool tones with the warm tones, you could do that too. Okay, this is Tonal Ditzy Floral Print Rib Jersey Knit Mint. Oh gosh, sometimes these, these terms just go on and on. Okay, so again, breaking it down. Tonal right? Because you've got the green on green. Um, ditzy floral print. So like a small little floral print. We got that. Um, rib jersey knit. So rib knit. Instead of it being a sweater knit though, it's jersey that's been ribbed. So this is the stretch on that. Great recovery. Super soft. Super lightweight. Super drapey. So if the sweater knits you were like, if you live in Florida or something and your spring is like very, very short, you don't have a lot of time to wear a like super thick sweater in spring, this is gonna be your go-to. This to me is giving all of these like nostalgic 90s feeling. Um, everyone is wearing like tight, now bear with me, okay? Tight, cropped, lettuce hem, right? Are you visualizing what I'm visualizing? That is how I would see this in the store. Now that is not me. That's how we have to use it. But I think that 
Um, it would definitely work well for something like that, even like a little mock turtleneck and you pair it, you know, with some high-waisted mom jeans and call it a day, right? That would be super cute. But we could also make it a little bit more mature by not doing a crop top, doing your regular length, still doing the lettuce hem, even the lettuce hem short sleeve would be so, so, so cute, right? And there's like a regular neck band, so fun. And you could pair it either under like a pinafore, you could pair it with jeans, you could make it into a um, bodysuit and you know, wear it tucked in. This is really, really nice. I'm a little bit sad this doesn't come in more colors because I would probably buy all of them. <laughs> um, it's super soft, super lightweight, perfect weight for a spring, summer, um, close fitting top. So fun. Okay. Now we have layered floral, layered floral cotton poplin in jade and red. Okay. Cotton poplin. Remember that's like the middle of the road of the cottons that we've looked at. This is that layered floral where everything's kind of like piling up on each other. We've got our mint. We've got fuchsia. We've got pinks. Let me find a good, well, this one's a little too muted. Um, this one's not going to work. Mer oh, here we have this apricot color. That looks pretty good. Um, we could do this with this. That looks like a lot of fun, right? So we've got some options. We've got options. How is it with the, um, let's take this out and put this in. That's okay. That's okay. I like how the pinks call into each other. So Lots of different options here. Again, I'm going to flip these around while I talk about the um, cotton lawn. Is that what I said? Cotton poplin. Um, layered floral. Printed on 17195. And it's your cotton poplin. So not the heaviest weight. Not shirting. But not far off from that. Used in very similar applications like button downs, shirt dresses, structured skirts, you know things of that nature. This one happens to not be see-through at all. So you could do it for a, um, a bottom weight, but it is lighter weight. So just keep that in mind. Like if you make a short from this, it's a very thin, it's gonna be a very thin short. Um, maybe you could even like get like a Batiste, not a Batiste, a cotton um, voile or something and underline your shorts and then you'd have a good structured short. Um, but it'd have to be a little bit loose fitting. So that's that. That's fun. Okay, next, I feel like we're not even halfway through. We have ultra wide, ultra wide hilltop floral. What does that even mean? A hilltop floral. Also, what is this? Maybe that's just the selvage. 16992, right? Yep. Okay, cotton sateen and aqua. This is one of the lightest weight cotton sateens I've ever come across. It, then this is not a stretch sateen, okay? It's just cotton sateen. So it's cotton with like a little bit of a sheen to it. I mean, can you barely, barely tell? All right, and I guess the hilltop is just like the kind of flowers you would find on a hilltop. I don't know what that means. But either way, ultra wide hilltop floral cotton sateen. Maybe the fabric is ultra wide too. I don't know. I don't know what all that means. Um, it also comes in black, so it has a black background. And we've got the cotton sateen. No stretch to it, but it does have a little bit of sheen to it. So it would be pretty for like anything where you want like a little bit of a little bit of glitz, a little bit of shine, um, but not sparkly. You know, it's gonna be a very, very subtle shine. Okay, kind of playing around with this <laughs> evening light now that daylight savings has turned on. Um, okay, 16992 on this. Um, the flowers are really pretty. The colors are really pretty for what it's worth. This ties in really well. Any of those like hot pinks and things that we looked at before, um, also really, really pretty. Okay, um, now we have brushed rib sweater knit heathered in aqua. Oh, my bad. Remember when I said this came in black? It doesn't. It comes in two colors. This is a jade red color. It comes in a different color. This is what also comes in black. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so, so far we have like the small rib sweater knit. We have the wide rib sweater knit. And now we have brushed ribbed sweater knit. And it's also heathered. So you can see how it's got like 
multicolors in it. Um, and the brush quality is exactly how it sounds. It's almost like, you know, it's been felted or something. Um, and then this is the stretch, a ton of stretch on this one, like a ton, more than a hundred percent for sure. And this way, a little bit, a little bit of give that way as well. Um, one, seven, four, two, five. I mean, the wrong side's kind of pretty too. These wrong sides look uh, identical to the right side, but this one has like a braided kind of effect to it. But that um, heathered quality, because it has like the aqua, but then the heathered is like a little bit more black, um, it definitely kind of makes it a little bit more, uh, is, definitely mutes it a little bit. Like it's not aqua aqua, you know, it's it's more muted, more, um, I mean, br less bright. I guess that's what muted means, but you know what I'm saying. So um, that's brushed rib sweater knit, comes in two colors really really soft really lightweight really drapey um really nice kind of like oversized sweater that's gonna like you know fall in on your body some and and do all the wonderful things that all the great drape fabrics do okay now we have artistic layered floral rayon jersey in aqua so rayon jersey we've talked about that rayon jersey so stretch but also lightweight super super soft i mean this one is like very very lightweight this is like not a lot going on to it um artistic layered floral so artistic layered floral again we have like the mints and the blues and the blacks and all of that kind of stuff um this is when i start losing things really easily this is what it looks like with the heathered like you made a cardigan and then a t-shirt um but rayon jersey is definitely an experience. <laughs> it's going to make a very, very lightweight garment. Um, it's going to be like, even if you made it into a t-shirt, I would recommend sizing up um, just because it's so lightweight that if it's fitted at all, it just, it's, it's just not a lot going on to it. Um, rayon jersey is not my favorite. I know, I know, I know. I might be alone in that. I just prefer more structure to my jerseys. So, but 17223 on this. Still fun. Like the print with that green. So cool. Here's that. Um, what did she call it? Pear? That's the pear linen blend. Right? And then we also, didn't we have another? No, not yet. Not yet. Okay, but that's that. Wrong side. Lightweight. I mean, I mean, it barely wants to just, just wants to float away. <laughs> okay, this is another tossed floral, tossed, you know, tossed spring floral rayon poplin, rayon poplin, that good middle of the road um, cotton, but, oh, but rayon poplin. Okay, so the poplin weed that we've been talking about all this time with all those cottons, this is the rayon version of that, and the colorway is called denim. It does come in another color. So what's cool about rayon poplin and why I absolutely adore rayon poplin so much, it might actually be one of my favorite substrates or my actual, actual favorite substrate, like of all time. It Because it has the wonderful qualities of rayon, right? Which are super smooth hand feel, super, super soft, drapey, right? Lightweight. But instead of like a rayon chalet that's really shifty and super hard to work with, um, the poplin, because it's so tightly woven, kind of holds itself together and kind of helps you out as a sewist. Um, it is so nice to work with, but produces this result of a dress that's still, you know, flowy. Still, you can use your ruffles and your all your flounces and everything else, but it's not as big of a pain to work with. <laughs> um, I, I adore rayon poplin. I adore it. Um, this one is Toss Spring Floral. So we've got these white flowers with orange and yellow, like middles, whatever those things are called. And then these like wispy things of like periwinkle and almost like fuchsia. And then also these drawn in like teal um, leaves. Also some periwinkle through here. So lots of really fun colors in this one. This is 17168. I'm honestly surprised that it's taken us this long to get to a rayon poplin. We're like 
we're on number 46. So we're like halfway through. And this is our first rayon poplin. I love it. I love rayon poplin so much. Try it if you never have. Try it if you never have. Um, okay, this is soft washed pinstripe cotton shirting in denim. Right? It's giving me that railroad denim kind of look. But washed cotton shirting. Okay, so cotton shirting, but instead of it having like a slick type of hand feel, it's still soft, but it's definitely more, mm, I don't want to use the term brushed because it's not fuzzy, but it's definitely like worn in, broken in, like you, like you washed it a few times. Um, it's got this cool pinstripe, which we've seen this pinstripe already, right? It's a little bit smaller pinstripe. Um, again, super cool, uh, shirting of any kind. So button down, um, a shirt dress, um, anything with like a little bit of structure to it. Super cool in this. I also think this one would be really good. And depending on what the other colorways of this are, I'm torn, but you know how people are making like those oversized blazer and loose fitting short sets. Uh, Mimi G has a pattern that I just got recently um, that has that. This would be a super cool version of that because pinstripe is like suiting, right? That makes you think of suiting. But the oversized quality of the blazer, the, you know, um, loose fitting short, you want it to be a little bit more casual than actual suiting. You want it to be um, like the wash quality would give it more casual vibe to it, which I think could be just so, so, so cool. So this could be fun in that. I mean, it is a little on the lightweight side. I would prefer if you were a little, little bit heavier, but nonetheless, it's still really cool. And I think in an application like that, where it's like a suit, but not, I think this one would be really neat. Um, one, six, four, seven, four, if I didn't say already. And then you could do it with this. What was that other one that where they had um, denim in it? Hold on. Remember, I was like, you could wear it with jeans groundbreaking um <laughs> oh no I might have I might have I've got too much going on here I think it was like a smallish part was it this no I mean all of these look good obviously but I was thinking of that one specific one and that's what happens we get too far into this I've got a mess of swatches over here none of that none of that none of that none of that real oh was it this no, it wasn't that. And it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. Here we are. No, no, no. I can't find it. <laughs> I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I can see it in my mind, but I can't find the fabric. Oh, well. Oh, well. All of these are also beautiful options if you wanted to make a set of some kind. Here are those numbers again. Real quick. Pause the video. Okay. Now we have soft mid-weight denim in bleached blue. This is a 10 ounce denim and comes in two washes. Jeez, it comes in two different washes. So it is denim, soft, soft is, is accurate. Mid-weight, no stretch, non-stretch denim, okay? 10 ounces, one, four, seven, four, two. Beautiful mid-weight uh, bleached denim. Then we have Pebble Dot Rayon Crepe. Again, Rayon Crepe in this really, 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 um, gosh, this uh, Pebble, what did she call it? Pebble Dot is very nice. I don't know how else to say it. I can see this looking good on every single skin tone in a million different applications, whether you are doing um, like lightweight drapey dress or like a flowy top or really just about anything. Um, this color is just so, so nice. She's calling it denim, but, and I mean, I guess it is, but that color blue is really, really pretty. Cornflower, cornflower. That's what I was thinking of, yes. Yes, brain. Okay, <laughs> cornflower blue, kind of denim blue, you know, giving me all of that. I love this. This is one of those prints that's like an all over print, but it's small, it's subtle, but it's still interesting. I, I really like this one. One, seven, five, oh, three on that. 
Now we have spring branches, floral rayon crepe in sky blue. So another rayon crepe, spring branches. We've got the emerald green and the pinks and um, the ivories again. Still some oranges mixed in there, right? But a bright blue background, sky blue background. This one is 17403, right? Rayon crepe, nice soft hand feel. Okay, now we have total marble print denim in sky blue. So this is a denim, just like this is denim, but this one is marble print. Two colorways on this, no stretch. Make me a jean jacket out of this. Okay, make me a denim jacket out of this, please. Cropped, um, even the moto jacket that we're working on for sew together, I mean, for the sew along, so cool. I love that it looks like clouds. I love that it looks like the sky. I love that it's this mid color, mid tone color. I would wear this to death. I love it. We've got so many fun, like blue and white right? So many fun blues and whites. And we're about to have another one. Yeah, really loving this blue situation happening here. Next, oh, this one is 16962. And this is the wrong side. It is printed on. So the wrong side is white, white, white. But if you cuffed it, I mean, that looks really cool. Okay. Now we have tonal, I'm sorry, triple stripe linen shirting in denim and vanilla. Triple stripe. So blue stripe, white stripe, or ivory stripe, and or vanilla, I'm sorry, denim and vanilla. And then in the inside the vanilla is another stripe. Maybe that's why it's called triple stripe. Linen shirting. Okay. Beautiful dress. Beautiful, beautiful linen anything. Linen pants, linen skirt, linen dress, linen all the things. Linen jacket, linen all of it. This would make a beautiful, beautiful any of that. Wrong side looks very similar to the right side. So really great for high-low hems, um, for uh, asymmetrical hems, all of that stuff. One four, I'm um, one seven four six nine. All right, now we have floral patchwork rayon crepe in denim and pink. So very much patchwork. <laughs> it's a patchwork print. You can imagine all these little ditzy prints, you know, patchwork together. Uh, um, very, very like within the denim family. I can see why she put it in between all these blues because it just, you know, really does go with all of this stuff, right? Like cute little flowy top with any of these denims. So fun. Different, bold, but in a different way than some of these other florals. And rayon crepe again. Yeah. Rayon crepe. 17504. Is that. I love the reds with the with the light blue and the denim colors. So classic. Americana all the way. All right. Block-ish floral print denim shirting in blue. And I think that that means like block printing maybe. Um, but it is really fun. Very modern. Uh, very, well, kind of like mid-century vibes, right? With some of these designs. Um, denim shirting. So it's got the white, it's got the denim, it's a shirting, make a top, you know, whatever you need. But that definitely that mid-weight or that mid-tone um, denim color. 17213. Okay. Then we have Sketch Vine Floral Rayon Chalet. So back to Rayon Chalet, smooth hand, lightweight, very, very lightweight. Um, sketch Vine Floral. Again, in the denim and white. Lots and lots of denim and white this season. Classic though. You cannot go wrong with denim and white on anything. Um, one, seven, four, six, eight on this. Rayon Chalet again. So really, really lightweight and drapey. Uh, Multi-stripe cotton double cloth in denim. So it's like that double gauze, the reversible double cloth is 
two layers of fabric stitched together, but it's not gauze fabric. It's cotton fabric instead. So this one's going to be a little less lightweight, a little heavier. Um, the texture is not going to be similar to gauze at all, but it's going to have that quality of having, you know, the two different fabrics. So you could do lots and lots of fun stuff with this, similar to that double gauze earlier. This one is, yeah, cotton double cloth denim. Yep, multi-stripe. 17405. So many denim, so many stripes. I can't say whether I'm surprised by that or not. I just think it is what it is. Spring, denim, Americana, all makes sense. This is abstract artistic floral stretch sateen in multicolored. So stretch sateen. Where's the stretch? There it is. Little bit of stretch that way. Same thing we were talking about with the other stretch sateens, right? We have had, this is our third, I think. Um, abstract artistic floral. A lot of these blues, the greens, even whites and reds, lots of colors mixed in here. Okay. One, seven, one, six, two. Really pretty spring print. That's just, that's just what it is. You got to call a spade a spade, right? Here is garden floral, ra uh, rayon crepe and navy. So another rayon crepe, garden floral, navy background, but all these pinks and reds and even some yellows and blues, lots of really pretty colors in there. Um, this little light blue denim color, I was trying to see if any of our denims, I'm, you know, combining stripes and florals is like a big, big thing. Easy way, easy entry level way into print mixing. Um, that could be really fun. The weights are different. This is the rayon crepe. And this is like a cotton shirting, I think. Wasn't it the brushed? This was the brushed one, right? So different weights, but you could do like a loose fitting short or skirt or something like that. And then like a flowy top. And these would look really cute together. All right, next, giant check plaid linen crinkle gauze. Whoa, okay. Crinkle gauze, as you can imagine, is gauze all crinkled up. So it has a ton of texture to it, like a ton. Um, giant check plaid. So these giant checks. And it's also linen, a linen gauze. So again, I'm thinking big, oversized, like not, not the whole dress, like the bodice fits, the shoulders fit, but like trapeze dress, right? Like don't cut up this, this large giant print, like leave it as big as you possibly can. I can also see this as like a big oversized, like take your jacket patterns and instead of making them more like a jacket, make them more like a shirt. I could see this like that too, but, but try to leave as much of this big check as you possibly can and don't cut it up. Like no print says seams, none of that big, big, big pieces of fabric um, to really let that shine. Or what about like a gathered skirt with the tears? You know, that could be a lot of fun. Big, big, big maxi skirt. You know what I mean? Something like that would be really cute. This one's so unique. 17409. Like a lot of these, like we are like rayon crepe, rayon crepe, rayon crepe. We've seen it, seen it, seen it. This one, linen and crinkle gauze. That's the only linen crinkle gauze we've had so far. Um, so... That's fun and you cannot go wrong with a giant check. You can't, trust me, <laughs> you, you just can't. Um, all right, now we've got a washed crinkle cotton in navy. So instead of it being gauzy, which is like, you know, pretty much see-through, um, we've got the cotton gauze or cotton, crinkle cotton. Boy, this is getting tricky. Crinkle cotton and it's also washed. So it's got that worn in look and obviously it's in solid navy, so. I mean, you can wear navy with anything. <laughs> navy is a neutral in my book. Um, but definitely that kind of like worn in vibe. Almost kind of like how the um, the linen, the linen blend from earlier, they have very similar textures. But this one's like really drapey and this one isn't. Okay. And this comes in 13 different colors. So it is a staple of theirs. 13 different colors. Find out if you want it to match any of this stuff, um, go to the website, reach out to them and ask for a crinkle cotton that matches, you know, whatever, whatever you want. For what it's worth, that is really pretty. <laughs> Sometimes you just look into it. All right. Oh, and this was um, one, 
13856. 13856. We've got artistic tossed floral. So again, tossed floral. Look how pretty. Rayon crepe again in navy. But look at this pretty, pretty purple and these almost like stone and taupes and light pinks. That is just so pretty with that navy. I mean, I love navy with just about anything, but man, that is pretty. Um, not exactly in this, but not, not, I mean, it's not a matchy matchy. It's a coordinate. It's a go with, um, but it does not look like they're not the same colors. I do want to point that out, but it goes, you know, it doesn't look bad. Love this. This is, I mean, if any color story was like mine, it would be navies and purples and things like that. Love them. All right, this is 17196 for what it's worth. This navy is a little more green, I think. Okay. Now we have lightweight denim shirting and indigo. So you remember our 10 ounce denim? This is five ounce denim. This is half the weight of this. Okay, so just to show you what happens, can you see how much heavier? I mean, I know weight is one of those things that's hard to see on camera, but it just is lighter. Can you tell that? Is that easier to tell? Um, this is like a pant or a short or something like that. This lends itself a little bit more to something a little bit more flowy, something, you know, lighter weight, like a gathered situation. Um, so this is shirting also three different washes. So you can probably, I think there's probably a lighter one, maybe a darker one than this. That's me just guessing, but um, really nice five ounce denim. Great for shirt dresses, skirts, um, anything kind of like looser fitting, but still with a little bit of drape to it. Lighter weight, of course. You could even make some cool tops out of this. Simple little, you know, grown on sleeve tops even. Um, you could do a lot of fun stuff. This one is one, two, three, eight, eight. And I also want to see this with our, I'm going to forever think of it as the bandana fabric, even though it's not, it's just giving me that. <laughs> um, so those are really fun together. I like the mid tone with this, but I also really like the lighter tones with it too. So I don't know. I guess just pick your poison, but if you made a dress and then you could do like a jean jacket out of this, this would make more of like a lighter weight, almost like a, I don't even want to call it a jacket. It's definitely not a coat. Um, I don't want to call it a jacket, not knit like a cardigan, but it's just be like another, like an over shirt kind of vibe because it's so lightweight. Okay. This one is called Le Leaf sprig print <laughs> denim shirting and indigo so we've seen a lot of this leaves and flowers in ivory or some lighter color on top of the denim color but this is just like the darker background um these not the same by like a fraction by like a hair um, but again, really pretty if you want to do denim with a little bit of a twist to it. All of this stuff is a lot of fun. Uh, 17197 on that. This reminds me of that, and I'll link that as well. Anytime a fabric reminds me of something I've done before, I'll try to do my best to link it for you guys. Um, I did make, I think that one might have had some rayon in it though, and this one is just cotton shirting. But I made, was it a deer and doe? dress and it had this same sort of like denim with like some kind of liney florally vine leaf print on it um so i'll link that so you can get an idea of what it might look like bigger scale and made into a garment we also have tonal plaid linen blend gauze tonal got it plaid got it linen blend gauze so it's that lightweight, gauzy, you know, like pretty much very airy, loosely woven um, with a linen blend. Um, and this is the blue colorway. Oh, there's only blues. Okay. So in blue. All right. So again, all your favorite denim colors in a plaid, in a gauze, um, any, I mean, gauzy type things I keep seeing popping up all over and ready to wear. Um, everything from like light floaty tops, tank tops, 
over shirts, dresses even, like gauze is, is a quintessential spring summer fabric just because it's so lightweight and breathable. And the fact that this one has linen in it, you know, just really even further drives that home. Um, we could do some like, you know, print mixing with it, but this one has all of the denim tones in it. So it really goes with just about anything. Okay, now we have tossed. I'm loving the tossed description. Tossed ditzy floral stretch cotton shirting in the color ding ding ding, ding cornflower. So, <laughs> um, so <laughs> stretch cotton. So it's stretch cotton, but not the sateen. So it's not going to have that shine to it, that little bit of sheen to it. Instead, it's just you know, uh, matte cotton with a little bit of some kind of stretch something woven in. Ditzy floral, your yellows, your blues, it's on this cornflower background. But this blue here is a little bit more in the mid-tone. I was trying to find our good friend, the yellow check, because yellow and cornflower are a match made in heaven. I mean, come on. That is just so, so nice. And because these are both shirtings, this one's a little bit thicker than this because it has whatever is making it stretchy in there um but the weights are very similar the the drape is very similar so pretty so pretty please make like a skirt or shorts or something and then make like I mean can you not just see this as like with pen curls and 1950s and like it would be on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel like I'm just getting like a whole like mid-century situation so cute big skirt crop top Come on, somebody. I wish I could make all the things all, for all the ideas that I have, but I just can't. Um, this one is 17371. 17371. All right. Now we have Periwinkle Mid-Weight Cotton Jersey Knit. This is another staple of theirs. It comes in 30 colors. Can you think of another indie fabric store that has so many colors of the same fabrics. It's just, it's one of the reasons why I love Stylemaker so much. They find something good and they just get it all. <laughs> um, so this is their midweight cotton jersey. I have made, what did I make? A t-shirt? Oh, maybe um, part of the iris tee was one of my iris tees. This, whatever it is, I'll link it for you guys in the top right corner here. I don't know if there's a limit to how many of those I can do. So if I run out, then check the description box and I'll have them all linked there as well. But um, yeah, it's the midweight cotton jersey. So like it says, midweight cotton jersey, the perfect t-shirt fabric, but it is on the heavier side. It is midweight, you know, so after you make it up, you will be able to tell a difference between this cotton jersey and like whatever the first this first one was this cotton jersey I can't remember but once it's made you can't really tell just in the little swatch but when you get it in hand you can you can tell a lot oh yeah 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 this has a little bit more weight to it so it makes it nice because it's you know a little bit smoother across some lumps and bumps of your body it's a little bit warmer you know all of those kinds of things but 30 different colors so you cannot go wrong with this one four seven seven six we have Vine Floral Rayon Crepe and, and Periwinkle. And for reference, that's what these look like together. Again, not perfect, but very, very, very close. Like, very close. <laughs> a t-shirt and a skirt or a, um, or a, like, culotte or something like that. Loose, 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 short. Um, that could be fun. This one is 17367. We have marble dyed French terry in blue and pink. Okay. Hello, like, you know, hoodie and short set. The sets are not going anywhere. People are still making sweatshirts and hoodies and matching either sweatpants, joggers, shorts, something along those lines. And that this is just perfect for that. Um, this is in the blue and pink. French terry. So think of terry cloth. You know, the back of it has the little, like, um, I don't know, what's it called? Like little loops on the back. And then the front side is really nice and soft, even though it has a little bit of thread on it, super soft. And it's got this marble dye, which is kind of like subtle, right? It's kind of like, it just bleeds into the next one, not like actual tie dye, which is really stark and jarring. So really fun, really cool, easy, 
project to put together with a super cute fabric. 14753. It is pretty lightweight. So if you're worried about it being like a, you know, French cherries, like warm, you know, you wear that in the winter time, like sweatshirts and stuff, but this one's pretty lightweight. It feels really good. Okay. Now variegated stripe linen blend shirting in orchid and vanilla. How much do we love orchid and vanilla? Like I love it a lot. Um, pretty, pretty purple, very wearable, approachable purple. It's not going to be like a big grape. Um, and linen blend shirting. So blended with something. I don't know what. It does feel pretty hefty. It does feel a little bit canvassy again, maybe similar to the other one that we had. Super soft, but you know, got a ton of structure, not a lot of drape decent amount of weight to it but still like the weight feels I don't know nice <laughs> sometimes it's so hard for me to find the, the right descriptors but yeah it feels really good this is a really really nice linen I want a pant out of this like in five seconds and I'm I feel certain she has a vanilla or something uh, like in this mid-weight cotton jersey that would match this really well love that um, this one's called Abstract Herringbone Digital Print Jersey in Lavender. So I actually have a ready-to-wear dress that I got at consignment or Goodwill or something that looks a lot like this, but mine is like ITY knit. Um, this one is like a, a jersey. Um, so some kind of, I don't know if it's cotton or what, but it's got a, it's thicker, it's less slippery, obviously, than ITY. But this print, this little herringbone print, looks really nice, made up into, like, a garment. It seems maybe kind of like a lot, um, but I love that dress. I, and I, what, one of the things I loved about it the most was the, the print of it. Um, so the fact that you could have, like, some kind of jersey shirt or dress or you know, even like pajama set. I, that's, I guess that's another good option for these um, cotton jerseys or jersey prints that we're coming across. A little shorts or something like that. A little romper. Now the ideas are flowing. <laughs> um, yeah, you could have something really, really cool with this. I love this print. I, but again, I love this like light purple situation that's happening. Um, 17057. We have another rib knit. This is the thick rib sweater knit. It comes in three colors. Remember, we already saw the mint one, which for what it's worth, I mean, the mint looks just as good as the purple does with this one. So take your pick. Um, the purple one is 16472. And now we have this beauty, garden floral cotton poplin in the orchid colorway. Again, our yellow is making an appearance. This was a little bit more on the marigold side, um, but that's our periwinkle. That's not exactly right. I mean, obviously you can make a sweater. This looks really good together, um, but this is a, what did I say it was? Cotton poplin. So it is that like middle of the range of the cotton shirting type of fabrics. Ivory background, this pretty like marigold fuchsia, this deep purple, lots of fun colors in here. I was quickly looking through and see if anything jumped out um, to match with it. We, we have the pink, but that's a little, little bright, I think. Um, blue won't work. The green, I don't, I don't know about this. This is just too, yeah, way too much. Even this one, too much. Um, so, yeah. These are probably your best bet. This one and then even this yellow one was the best of all the things if you wanted to try and match something up. But this one, it comes in two colors, 17191 on this one. Then we have another one of the narrow ribs. This one is in orchid, right? So orchid, remember the one that had all the little shiny things to it, the coral one, this? Same fabric, but this goes with this, okay? This one is 17461. Then we have the same um, nair, oh, I'm sorry, pinstripe chambray, also in orchid. And that was like the pink one. Do you guys remember that? This one here, same as this. Um, these are the two colors that this comes in. 
And for what it's worth, you could do something really fun with all three of these. They all look really good together. Um, you could, I'm trying to think, you could do like, you know, have you seen those like button down shirts where they do two different fabrics? <laughs> I know it sounds wonky, but you could do like a color blocked button front shirt with like a skirt. You could make this your shirt and then do like tiers of this maybe. I don't know. That sounds like a bad idea too, but whatever you can think of, all three of these fabrics look really good together. So the purple pinstripe is 17340. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of the repeats now. So we're gonna be able to kind of burn through these. But this one is the narrow rib sweater knit in orchid. Now, can you see like I can see this looks pink. I don't know if that it doesn't say anything about it being ombre. So we'd have to reach out to her to see if this was just the salvage and something funky is happening if it's just supposed to be that. In which case, Oh, wait, 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 start over, start over, start over. This is the narrow rib sweater knit in Orchid. We went over that. Then we did the pinstripe chambray. This is ombre. Okay, ombre brushed sweater knit, heathered. So we had that other heathered sweater knit that was not ombre. Remember, it had like the black and something else in it. Um, I can't find it right now, but you guys remember it. So this is its friend. Um, and it does have this cool ombre effect to it. Which, I mean, ombre, even if it is pink and purple, and pink and purple is a little bit, like, too girly for you, ombre can be so, so, so cool and very grown up, um, no matter what the colors are. So, this one's a lot of fun. One, seven, four, five, four. Yeah, ombre, so fun. Heathered, so fun. Brushed, sweater knit, love it all. Love it all. Yeah, super soft. Not a ton of drape. I mean, you could do a really, really cool sweater with that cardigan, all that stuff. And I mean, I guess if you wanted to really like pink and purple all together, you know, that's what that does. Okay, now we have Brussels washer yarn dyed linen blend. So we did this already once, right? Let me go back, brushed. Oh, we've had a lot of brushed things. Brussels washer linen, and then this is Brussels washer yarn dye linen. Are those the same or different? Yeah, the other one has 15 colors. This has 10 colors. So I would like to find that other one um, to compare them because they do seem very similar. Um, Bruss oh, the pair. Okay. All right. So these are them the two different Brussels linen that they have. This one is washer yarn dye, washer yarn dye here in the colorway heliotrope, which that's just a fun word to say. And this is washer linen blend. So yarn dye and then linen blend. Yarn dye, linen blend, and then just regular linen blend, not yarn dyed. Wow, okay. 10 colors, 15 colors. You can tell there's like, you know, some texture here with the colors. It's not actually textured. Well, it is a little bit, but you know what I mean? Like it's woven with two different colors. Um, this one is more like that orchid color and vanilla. Um, I really think, no, that's a little too bright. Well, that's a bummer. Um, but these are staples of theirs. They have these all the time this Brussels washer yarn dye. It just depends on if you want something with like this like heathered look to it or if you just want it to be solid. All right, here is the third um, narrow rib sweater knit in natural. So we've got the, what was it, coral and the orchid maybe. And then here's it, their little friend. Okay, this is so pretty. Classic, this looks so expensive, like so expensive. Um, I mean, yeah, that looks like something you would see in like Eileen Fisher or something like that. That looks really, really nice. This one is um, 17460. And then we have this artistic sketch floral rayon jersey in cream and multi, right? I mean, it looks good with either one of those. Um, artistic stretch floral rayon in cream and multi. So... 
rayon jersey. Okay, yeah, so that same kind of lightweight, um, very, very thin and lightweight jersey. Um, so use it to make like a, more, a little bit looser fitting t-shirt than you normally would, but you've got your cardigan that goes with it, right? You know what this also looks like? Again, going back to the knit sets, people are doing those like, they're like fitted through the hip, but almost like a straight leg or boot cut maybe, like pull on pant, and then pairing it with the matching like sweater shirt. That's exactly what this looks like. Think of like Kim Kardashian's skims, but in this like rib knit instead of whatever it is that she's using, you know, for her lounge, lounge leisure, that's what this looks like. Except this looks like this one would cost hundreds of dollars. Sorry, that just really distracted me. But yeah, here we go with this. <laughs> Back to the um, artistic sketch rayon jersey. Really pretty. Really pretty. Lots of stretch to it. Well, not a ton, but a decent amount. Very, very, very drapey. I mean, it's like nothing in your hand. 17422 on that. Now we have, what is this? Oh, reversible double jersey knit. So we've talked about double gauze and double cotton or whatever that was called. This is a double jersey. So we've got two layers of jersey stitched together. This one's reversible. So we've got this heathered gray and cream, classic. And then the other side is just this like cream color. So that's interesting. I don't know that I've ever seen a double jersey before. How does it stretch? Not a ton, but not, not none. Um, but it probably only has, here, let me try and do a quick guesstimate. Yeah, 25, maybe 30% stretch, not a ton. But again, same as this with that kind of like idea of making a lounge leisure set. This could be really cool. And then you could do your cuffs maybe in this. I don't know, that's very inspiring, this one. 17417. This is tonal marble print denim in gray. So we had the other marble print denim, remember? And I was like, someone please make me a jean jacket. Um, and of course I can't find it anymore. If you could see this, this status here, you would understand. <laughs> it, they get away from me, they really do. They get away from me very easily, too easily. Um, yeah, I can't find it. But you guys remember, right? This is the gray version, I think. Um, or similarly gray. So it's denim, it's gray, it's white. I actually think I might like the gray one better. Who has a gray jean jacket? Nobody, but who needs one? Everybody. Dang, I really cannot find it. Oh, here it is. Whew. Okay. I mean, they look a lot alike, right? Just gray and blue. I love the gray one. The gray one feels so unique to me. <coughs> no stretch. <coughs> like not very lightweight. I mean, it's a denim. That would be so, so cool. Um, or even like, what about like, um, uh, closet cases, overalls, Jenny, the Jenny overalls. That would be fun. That would be super fun. This gray. I, I mean, I haven't seen a lot of gray jackets, gray denim jackets, but I got to imagine I would wear it a ton. I always feel like I'm reaching for denim and I'm like, I don't know. And I'm reaching for black and I'm like, I don't know. But gray would be that good, like middle ground. That one's really fun. Okay, one, six, nine, six, one. I don't think these are the same, but I mean, they're close. You know, love this. Okay, then this is called... What is this? Where are we? 17421 brushed rib sweater knit in heather gray. So this is the exact same as the other brushed rib knit, which there is no way I'm going to be able to find that. There's just no hope for that at all. Unless a miracle is about to happen. Um, but there was another one. I can't even remember what color it is, which is why I know I'm not going to be able to find it. But there was this, but this wasn't, this was a brushed sweater knit, not ribbed. And then we had, is it this? 
Nope. See, that was a rib, a heathered rib knit, but not brushed. Maybe we haven't seen it brushed. It does say it comes in two colors. This, whatever it is, this is the gray one, right? Um, again, now that my mind is on these like lounge leisure sets, every single thing I'm seeing would make the perfect lounge leisure set. Um, those pull on pants, very comfy, very cozy. And then you make like a top to go with it. Your set matches, you look pulled together, but you're basically sitting around in pajamas. <laughs> 17421, super nice, super soft. I mean, that would be perfect, perfect, perfect for that. Would it be so crazy if even though we have all these colors, I end up getting like two gray fabrics <laughs> for spring? Oh man. Or even like if I got this one, that's still not very springy either. Oh well. You like what you like, guys, okay? Um, all right, now we have one seven one four seven oh seven soft washed linen linen in solid charcoal. Now this is another staple. It comes in 17 colors. Soft washed. So think about that. Think about taking a linen and washing it, washing it, washing it over and over and over and over and over again. This is what you would get. Okay. So not like these Brussels, not like this at all. This is very much still crisp and clean and smooth and all of that. This has a little bit of texture to it. Definitely broken in. Definitely almost like the color has been faded a little bit too. Like it was black and now it's charcoal. Um, one four seven oh seven. I already said that. Seventeen colors in this. This is like broken in linen. You know, again with that um like that Mimi G suit set. Perfect, perfect for that. Oversized, not oversized, but loose fitting shorts, oversized blazer. Super cute. Seventeen colors. Amazing. Okay, watercolor stripe jersey French terry and charcoal. So watercolor, stripe, Jersey French Terry. Okay, so think about your French Terries. Think about your jerseys. They had a baby, and this is what it is. <laughs> um, not a ton of stretch, but very lightweight, very drapey, very, very drapey. It's got a um, small loops on the back, not very big at all. And this really cool, like... You know, almost like a gray sky, which is kind of sad to think about in the spring. But, you know, we all have our gray sky days. Um, and that's what this would be. These look superb together if you wanted to do a linen short and a top. But, again, I see this as this little short set, even a romper, short set, sweater combo. This um, lounge leisure is kind of the vibe I'm seeing on this for sure. In my vision, in my head. If I could make all the things I have ideas for, that's what I would make this one into. Okay, so this is that hilltop floral that we saw a few times ago. Um, this is the black version. Remember the other one? I think it had an ivory background. This is the black version of that. The hilltop floral. Um, that's that. I mean, it is really striking. The colors just pop. Just totally pop off. Um, it is a jersey. Uh, jersey knit in black. Okay. Really, really nice. Black backgrounds in spring are not as wild as you may think, you know, because the colors, the other colors do look so vibrant whenever you do it that way. You know, you could do it with your pink stripe, you know, and you could really make it a lot more springy depending on what you paired it with. This one is 17055. All right, who remembers my lemon dress from several years ago? Um, this looks like it has, it is its rebirthed <laughs> version. That yellow, uh, that lemon dress had a navy background. And I mean, everyone flipped for it. So this is similar, but it's got um, a black background. The other one was stretch sateen. I'm going to link it for you guys. This one is also stretch sateen. So it's got that going for it. So if you want to make a thin flare dress, mine was a little short, my own fault. Um, so I didn't hold on to it for very long. But um, every time I wore it, I just felt so pretty <laughs> in my little lemon dress, you know? Um, so this is called Lemon Tree Stretch Sateen in Black 17167. That's the wrong side. Yeah, I think I made it as part of who was around for the royal wedding so along. 
Um, back when Harry and Megan got married, um, we did a sew along where I did one dress out of this and the other dress was another sateen, but like red florals. All of those came from Stylemaker Fabrics. Um, but yeah, for however long Harry and Megan have been married is how long ago I made that dress. So fun. Okay, this is called Twilight Garden Digital Print Rayon Shirting in Black. Okay, so rayon shirting. Have we seen a lot of that? I don't think so. This could be similar to rayon poplin, but even a little more, a little heavier, a little more structured. This could be like my new favorite. I mean, if I like rayon poplin so much, certainly I would like rayon shirting. I mean, look at that. I love the drape. I love the weight. The weight is something else. Of course, it feels super soft with the rayon, like so soft. This has got the black background and then these whites and greens. It's, um, is she calling it digital print? Yeah, definitely like a digital print, which honestly isn't my personal favorite. Um, I don't love literal things, um, but I would probably get some just to try rayon shirtings. I don't know that I've ever seen that before either. I love the fabrics that are just unique. Like even this one, remember this? Like things that you just don't see everywhere. I just think are so cool. Those are the ones where people are gonna be like, where did you get that? And then you get to tell them, oh, I made it. <clears throat> All right, this is 17462. And then you guys, we come to the end our very last fabric. And I think we're going out with a bang. This one is vintage Ditsy Floral Rayon Shally in Espresso and Rose. How beautiful are all of those colors together? So pretty. You pair it with your little cardigan or your little sweater. You make like a little cutesy skirt and then a sweater, you know, half tucked. So nice. Um, the Rayon Twill from like forever ago. So pretty. Here's your outfit. You've got Shorts or a skirt or something, a little top and a little cardigan, come on. The cutest. The cutest. Here are the numbers. Again, this is Rayon Shally. Okay, so that lightweight drapey. Uh, 17166 is the number on that. Pause the video. And you guys, that's it. Another swatch video in the books. This one was good. I mean, they all are all so good. Um, but this one right up there um, with some of the best. Nobody is as good as Stylemaker Fabrics at finding fabrics that look like ready to wear, that we love to sew, and, we, and more importantly, we love to wear them, and they look like stuff we find in the store. You know, I think that's their one gift. Not their one gift. They have many, many, many gifts, but this is definitely one of them. So check the description box. Lots of info down there. Obviously, I linked to a bunch of different projects in this one too, so be sure to check that out. Stylemaker Fabrics is doing $5 shipping on through the launch. So for the next two weeks, $5 shipping. And do not forget to check out the little um, vlog tour that they are doing um, featuring different types of fabrics so you can learn even more about what may become your new favorite fabric. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.